So what's so special about The Godfather? Uh, first, click Aaron's comment right here and go watch her video. It's very funny and totally worth watching uh, probably more than once. So I've seen The Godfather 30 plus times, probably 50 plus times, um, just more than I can count. And uh, it's easy to watch it once and miss what's so great about the film. The answer is that it is a incredibly multi-layered film that you have to watch more than once to fully appreciate. On every level, the craft is incredible. But I wanna talk about one thing in particular in this TikTok that does not get brought up enough these days, and that is Al Pacino's performance. You might think of Al Pacino as this old guy who does HBO movies every now and then, or you might know him as 1990s Al Pacino, Son of a Woman Pacino, Devil's Advocate Pacino, but that's movie star Al Pacino, okay? That's not the guy who is starring in The Godfather and The Godfather Part Two. The man you find at the center of The Godfather is a young, essentially unknown actor who has tremendous range, and Coppola knows this, which is why he fought to cast Al Pacino as Michael Corleone over Robert Redford and other bigger established names that the studio wanted. And Pacino takes this role and gives a soulful performance. It's very internal, it's very quiet. Uh, he is an observer, he is watching events unfold around him and trying to decide how he fits into this world of his father's making. He really looks like a boy. Compare him to uh, his older brother in the movie, James Caan, who's walking around in sleeveless shirts and has like hairy shoulders and is really hot-headed. Um, that's not Michael. Michael is very internalized and he's an observer and a thinker and uh, carefully weighs uh, the consequences of his actions and you get to see him doing that internal work on screen and it's incredible it is it is just one of the greatest cinematic performances of all time and uh it's why it made uh pacino a star just such incredible range in what he's doing uh he's quiet and internalized and then at moments He's explosive, he's terrifying. Uh, I'm thinking of one moment in The Godfather Part Two, where he's speaking with his wife that is so realistic and it's terrifying, but it's not showy. It's not the sort of bombastic performances that uh, you know, the larger in life stuff that Pacino would later do in the 90s. Uh, but come on folks, go watch The Godfather.